Hello and welcome to the fourth and final part of the Spitfire work in progress. Now, we left it that I finally solved all the problems with the clouds because the clouds were just not working and so on and so on and so on. So, having solved the problems of the clouds, I can now have a bit of fun and put the other aircraft in. As you'll notice up here, we've got two Messerschmitts um, diving past the Spitfire. Um, I quite like this because you, you've got this perspective thing going on where you see, you know, the starboard side of this one and the port side of that one, they're sort of coming in. It gives you like a wide angle um, impression and uh, we can play with the light being on that side of the fuse large and uh, this one's against the light. So now I'm just about to put a Spitfire in. Um, again, the, the kind of general idea of this, I think, now that I've created this space down here, is that I want to put some German bombers down here. Originally I was going to put the German formation, the bomber formation, probably over here. Which I might still do a formation of something over there. But the German bombers, Junkers 88s probably, will be down here. So the impression is that everybody's going after the bombers. These two are coming down and um, the Spitfire's going down as well. Um, so on and so on. Anyway, so I've uh, sketched this Spitfire in. And so now I'm just going to block it in uh, with a bit of paint to make sure that it's not too big. Um, it's always difficult when you sketch something on uh, in, in just lines is to judge whether it's too big or not. So what you've got to do really is to block it in and see if it is or not as the case may be. So, just roughly blocked in like that with an impression of light and um, yeah, there is a very simple Spitfire. It's been about a week since the last update and uh, all I've been doing for that past week is just the technical stuff. Detailing, detailing, detailing. So I've detailed the main Spitfire and I've detailed two Messerschmitts and the other Spitfire, roughly to about 90%. Um, so now I'm at the point where I'm kind of going back to the creative side. Now the detail's in, I need to really bring it together and, and make, it, make it work, make it look interesting. I've started to do the fire. As you can see, if you come, come have a look, um, it's it's quite a tricky one because the 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 fire was in the the fuel tank something like that so it was coming up through the cockpit and then burning out so so I've I've tried to make it look like it's going at 350 miles an hour um, but I've still got to work on that but that's that's again part of the creative side but what I, what I thought at the moment is the aircraft's really it's not standing out as much as I'd like, so what I'm going to do um, is just add a little bit of uh, reflected light to this wing here and see if that helps it to, to stand out a little bit more. I might end up whizzing over the wheel, but um, I just need this wing to be a bit stronger. So I'm just lightening it a little bit. It might work, it might not, but this is the creative side, as I say, this is where you, you mess about with it, uh, have ideas to see if it will work, and um, this is where you make it come alive. So we're, we're about, you know, two days away from completion, and now I need to make it really, you know, work, make it really look... Uh, special and yeah it's it's coming it, it needs it needs a bit more work but it's getting there so what I'm going to do in the next couple of days now is to add um, a few more aircraft down here the bomber formation uh, put a few more trails up in the sky detail finish detailing everything and possibly add up a little bit more cloud just to make the aircraft stand out and then, uh, yeah, should be finished. So, about 24 hours left of work. Uh, I'm taking it to England on Thursday. So, yeah, it's going to be <laughs> quite an intense period. But, yeah, we're getting there. It's, it's nearly there. Finally, 
we're finished. Well, actually, we're not finished. There's probably another couple of hours' work left, but uh, I just thought I'd show you now because the two hours will be late into the night. Um, so here it is. Um, <clears throat> fair bit of work after after the last update. Um, I think I, if I just take you around the picture from clockwise, really. Um, I've added a few smaller aircraft and contrails up here, just to give a, give a bit of depth and a bit of movement up there. And I've added this Spitfire, which is climbing up to intercept. Basically, 92 Squadron got bounced by some 109s, and uh, so the, the, the Squadron basically split up. Um, so this one's going up, these two are going down, that one's going down even further. Um, these two 109s, um, I must emphasise that these two 109s haven't done the damage to this chap. I mean, the, the, uh, Bill Watling is getting out of his Spitfire. I mean, it's it's at least probably 10 seconds since he was hit. So the actual 109s that hit him are probably halfway back to France already. I mean, it's, it's, it's a long time in air combat. But these, these are just there to give an impression of who they're fighting against. Um, so two 109s are detailed, um, and then down bottom right I've added some Junkers 88s, formation of 12, because basically they were heading towards London. Uh, the Spitfire, this smoke trail is the other Spitfire that was hit during the attack. Um, I think that smoke trail just adds takes, takes the eye down there a little bit. Uh, that, that was the reason to put him down there. I've added some cloud shadows, um, obviously detailed this Spitfire as well. Um, one, one of the main things I did, which, which again is, is something that happens right at the very end, is that it was very, very messy, very bitty with all the clouds, um, which looked fine without the Spitfires, but once, once the main aircraft is in, you have to then adapt the background to make the main aircraft stand out. So, if you'll notice from the last time, I've extended this cloud here and around here, and also here. This was very important. This this was shadowed down here, and so I've extended the white cloud across, and it really just helps to make the aircraft stand out. Which ultimately is what this is all about. This painting is about Bill Watling bailing out of his burning Spitfire, and everything else is incidental. So there we are. It's um, 9th of September. Pilot Officer Bill Watling bailing out of his burning Spitfire. He was burnt on the hands and face, but um, survived, uh, only to be killed later in early '41, I think, in an accident. Um, pretty much finished. Um, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, look out for the next one, whatever that's going to be.